poetry, I think I figured out the technical glitch. Let's see if it works. Um, first of all, thank you for requesting me. I love to hear questions from my fans, and I want to tell you that I'm so sorry you're going through a health issue. I know very well how hard it is, and I hope that you have the support from family and friends and that you're getting a lot of rest and really taking care of yourself. Um, your questions. I I also love that episode. That was one of my favorite episodes where Hoshi goes to the transporter and she has this dream that she's disappeared in the transporter and becomes this kind of ghost, a specter. I think I can relate to it. It was the like, dreams often mean some psychological unconscious fear or um, worry that we have and. I think a big uh, issue for Hoshi was that she didn't really believe in herself or felt that she was really seen or maybe not a valuable member of the enterprise that in a lot of ways she felt um, like the ghost is not seen. I can definitely relate with that. I you know, have worked with my own issues of insecurity and self-doubt and I feel like I've had a lot of growth as I think Hoshi did in those four seasons where she, um, you know, really faced a lot of her doubts of her place and her talent and her ability to where uh, she realized what she thought was a flaw was actually her greatest gift as a translator. And I think her, her, you know, quote unquote flaw was um, her emotions, her emotions enabled her to have compassion and I think as a universal translator that was her biggest gift because it's not just about languages it's about understanding other species other cultures and I think that's what drives Hoshi um, to be a translator she wants to reach out and understand and is able to have compassion for the other whether it's a slug or it's like some crazy beast that kidnaps her and <laughs> forces her to hang out with him. Um, the next question I think you said if Hoshi had something to teach Uhura more over the children of the Star Trek prodigy. I think it's the same thing. I think it, it's this idea of can we understand what it's like to be in the other shoe and that includes not only language but culture where you grow up and how you grow up um, influences how you see the world. And instead of saying, oh, that's weird or that's wrong, having the intention to understand, to connect, I think that's the biggest thing is we go into space not to kill and demolish, but to connect, to make bridges, to, um, to bring different species together. Uh, and the toy, Actually, there was a Hoshi toy. I have a, a Hoshi action figure. I just have one left. I had a whole bunch, but I've given them away over time. So I'm sure somewhere you can find the Hoshi toy. It doesn't look anything like me, but it says Hoshi on it, so everyone knows it is me. <laughs> um, I hope you stay in very good health as well. I, um, I work very hard on my health. That's my number one priority eating well, exercising, getting a lot of rest, and most importantly, um, any emotional stress, you know, letting anger or sadness move through me and not trying to stifle it, um, making sure that, um, you know, we really care for ourselves and we're there for ourselves. I hope you have a wonderful day, and this is kind of a long message, but all right.